Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cool IT Help. In this video tutorial session, we are going to set up Python development environment in Visual Studio Code. In this video tutorial, we are going to use Python 3 and after the installation of Python, we will simply create a Hello Cool IT Help program in Visual Studio Code, then we will run it. And guys, to do this, we have to install a Python extension and after installing a Python extension, VS Code will be a great lightweight Python IDE. And after using some time, definitely you will find this Visual Studio Code is very easy for Python development with respect to other Python IDEs. Now this is the simple prerequisite. First, VS Code must be installed on your machine. Second, Python 3 interpreter that we need to install. Third, we have to install Python extension. And these are the steps that we are going to follow in this tutorial session. Let's get started with the step one. In a step one, we have to install Python interpreter. And this is the download link. And you can get the same link in the description of this tutorial. Now open the Chrome browser and uh, visit this link and you will find this page. And guys, if you are looking for a different kind of uh, Python package, like uh, if you are working with the Linux or Mac OS X, so you can look for here in this link. So I'm looking for the Windows, so I just selected the Windows option. This is the first and the latest release, so I just clicked on this link. And these are the details about this package and we have a uh, lots of files right here. In the bottom we find the exact one that we are looking for, the 64-bit installer. I'm working with the machine 64-bit architecture and now if you guys have a 32-bit so you can uh, download the 32-bit installer just above it. When you launch it you will see the very first installation window and now we have to proceed with this this install now link click on it and the process will start right now the python setup expanding all the files and uh, putting on your machine and uh, arranging all the stuff for you for the first time run this will take three to four minutes for complete installation so guys uh, installation is successful and you will get the message this way and now close this box now we will go back to here in this notepad in the step 2 the important step we have to verify the Python installation to do this we will open a command prompt and then we will type this simple command here we go this is CMD and now I'm going to type py space hyphen 3 hi space hyphen hyphen version press enter and you will see this message this is the Python version if you are not getting this message that means installation is not done properly now we will follow the step 3 in the step 3 we need to install one Python extension now we have to open the Visual Studio code okay in the Visual Studio code we have to click on this icon for the extension when you click on it you will get the search box in the top of this place now just type python and you will get lots of results so we have to select the first one and this is created by the microsoft write this section we have all the details if you want to read it please go through it now click on this install button for the installation and guys this installation will take one or two minutes maximum and then you will see the message in front of this button extension enabled globally now we can proceed further okay I will minimize it and I will go back here at the step 4 in the step 4 guys we have to create one folder for our Python development and this folder will be opened inside the Visual Studio code why because the program files that we are going to create that will go in this folder so all your stuff will be at one place so this is Python workspace that I have created just now at this place okay 
now we need a path of this folder so I will copy the path of this folder and go back to the Visual Studio code now you can use the file menu or you can click right here to open a folder and now here we get it select this folder within second this folder will be added on the left hand side in this Explorer tab and uh, you can see some options in front of this folder name so we can create some files okay now we will see the step 5 in the step 5 we need to select a Python interpreter so guys we are going to run a Python code so we need to tell VS code where is our Python interpreter so VS code will activate the Python IntelliSense to do that we have to go to the command palette and we have to type this search keyword like python colon select interpreter now here in the visual studio code go to the top menu click on this view select the command palette and now just type python colon select interpreter and this will appear on the top just click on it and you can see on the bottom left hand side that Visual Studio Code trying to detect some available Python plugins or Python interpreters so this is the list I already installed 3.8 and now I have just installed the 3.9 for preparing this video so we have these two options select the 3.9 and you will see on the bottom that Python interpreter version will be displayed on the bottom corner that means this is set now now we can proceed for the step 6 now in the step 6 we simply going to create a Python program in VS Code editor and then we will run it in step 7 now go back here in this click on this new file icon and give the name of your program so I'm giving demo.py so py is the extension for the, the Python program now this file will open right here but nothing inside it we have to write some code I am simply typing one uh, or two line of code so we simply creating one variable and then we going to print the value of this variable now you can see on the fly that IntelliSense is activated by the VS code and uh, this is helping you out when you are trying to write some code here in this editor so guys this is the simple program ready now we will see how to run it very simple thing on the right corner you can see this button to run the code also you can do a right click and select this option run python file in terminal to run this python program when you do it you will see terminal will appear in front of you and you will get the results right here now guys one more important thing that I want to share with you if you have a very lengthy file and you want to run particular piece of code in somewhere in some condition so you can do that so just select that portion of the code or a lines of code to the right click and choose the option run selection line in Python terminal so this will execute only those lines those selected lines now I will show you because the print message has no meaning right now because ma MSG is not a identified variable so I will uh, simply change and I will put um, a string inside the print now this uh, is more significant so I'm just uh, showing you the scenario you have a uh, five or six lines of code and you want to execute only those so you just select it do the right click and select this option and this will be executed and you will get the results so this is the uh, advanced feature with this Visual Studio Code editor and uh, now finally we will run uh, our code with this run code button click on it 
this is the quick uh, run button and you will see in the terminal this is using the python command to run our python um, program demo.py and uh, finally code executed and we got the results so guys visual studio is more convenient and uh, easy to use i hope you will like it and uh, also i hope you found this video tutorial relevant and useful please like do this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool id help